Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon to a few out there. It is the Earthmaster here on this Saturday, April 29th, 2023. It's about 9.46 a.m. here along the West Coast. And I uh, got an earthquake coming in to the Alaska area. Uh, this is going to be, uh, looks like a 6.2 earth earthquake coming into the region of the Again, the Alaska area. Let me show you guys here real quick. For some reason my hotkey is not working once again, but uh, we'll go ahead and pull this up so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, here into the Aleutian Trench. Looks like about uh, 77 kilometers deep for a 6.2. This is a, a major subduction zone area between the uh, Pacific and the North American plate. Uh, I do want to see if there's any type of tsunami statement with this earthquake. Probably not, but uh, it doesn't look like it either way. Uh, somewhat of a, a moderate to large earthquake up here. Looks like a few folks did re uh, Actually, nobody felt it. Uh, at least no reports coming in currently. It's still underneath automatic status review, meaning that it has not been reviewed uh, by a seismologist yet so we'll check back on that here in a second but it uh, looks like it is in an area that has been seeing a little bit of uptick here I notice these little quakes uh, much closer here to the subduction zone uh, so keep an eye on that area also a uh, region down south here into Southern California has been showing quite a bit of earthquake activity uh, a lot uh, looks like this has continued overnight. Got about 70 earthquakes so far uh, in a, a pretty good swarm fashion. Let me bring up the all magnitudes here and see if it brings in uh, any more quakes. It looks like we're coming up on uh, very close to 100 earthquakes just at the southern end here of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. That's going to be this uh, very lengthy fault system that runs uh, pretty much from the border all the way up to the uh well the san andreas fault the plate boundary here uh, so that's kind of a little on the concerning side that's why i did issue an earthquake watch here last night i'm continuing that uh today due to this elevated activity now we did see a little bit larger magnitude activity last night including a 4.1 early this morning so you know it started out as some ones and twos and it looks as though the activity is increasing out here into the uh, Southern California area as far as the magnitudes go. And um, something to watch pretty closely here with this type of setup. It is uh, a ways away from the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. But still, uh, this type of activity around a major locked area is a little on the concerning side. Um, it's been a while since we've seen a six-pointer out here, specifically in this area. I think the last one was back in 19, uh, oh, was it 1987? We were looking at it last night. But, um, yeah, I think this may be definitely building up towards some type of, uh, some type of further larger scale movement. Either way, significant earthquake swarm down here north of Mexicali. Uh, again, right at the southern end. I believe it's right at the southern end here of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. There's a couple different uh, segments of this fault that run through here. I don't believe it's on the Imperial Fault as that sits a little bit further here to the east. So uh, very close to the southern end of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here. Again, 6.2 coming into the Alaska area has not well, we got one person reporting it now. Still underneath automatic status. Uh, that 6.2 just coming in a short time ago. Uh, we'll be back a little bit later this afternoon here uh, to cover more of this activity. Just wanted to get a quick update out on this uh, elevated movement there in Southern California. Uh, and also this 6.2 coming into the Alaska area. We'll catch you guys here a little bit later on. Stay safe out there.